In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a foundation chain. And usually with the normal first chains is that you always end up, if you look really carefully, you'll end up with three uh, strings. Okay, and so then we use two of them and then we always keep one at the bottom, which creates a bump, just like though. So there is your one. So if you're able to do um, like a border around this thing, you only have one string to work with instead of two. And the whole purpose of the foundation chain is to give you two strings on both sides so you actually have four strings running it through. So instead of like just there, you'll have two and one on the bottom. You'll have two on the top and two on the bottom. So therefore, you can actually go around your project uh, without any problems at all using a foundation stitch. So let's get started and show For you how to do foundation uh, chain, what we're going to do is that we're just going to wrap it around your finger twice. Okay, to create your slip knot, taking the back over the forward, taking the back and pushing up. And now let's slip in your, your needle. In today's tutorial, I'm using a four ply Bernat Super Value yarn and I'm using a size J hook. So to create your foundation, we're just going to uh, chain three as normal. So this is already considered as one. So let's just grab the material, pulling it through. So that's number two and grabbing the material and pulling it through. So there's three. So now what we need to do is go back to the very starting stitch and stick in your hook. So go right into the starting one. And what we want to do is now is grab the yarn again, pull it through. And now you have two on your hook and now pull through those two. And this is the start of your foundation. So what we need to do now is we need to get two strings on one side, two strings on the other. So we actually have that already starting. So in order to go on to the next stitch, what we have to do is you'll see that there's two loops okay, that are, are supporting this particular one right here. What we need to do is stick your needle into the first one that is closest to wherever the wool is coming from. So just go into the first one grabbing the material, pulling it through once, one only, and now pull through two. So in actual fact, ladies and gentlemen, when you're working on this, do you see that these two strings are kind of side by side and look like a stitch? You're actually using your material and the chain is actually building on its side. So to go to the next one, so you got one and two, just go the one closest to where the wool is coming from, pulling it through and then pull through two. Okay, so do you see how you got your two stitches on this side? So when you rotate it the other way, you have your two on the other side. So you're building your foundation on both sides. So again, you see the two loops, go to the one closest to where the wool is coming from, pull through, and then pull through two. Okay, so it's actually very simple. It's taken me a year and a half to get that concept. I have seen a million tutorials on it, and I just didn't get it until last night on what was actually happening. So. It actually goes really quick once you understand the concept. I'd almost recommend that with every tutorial that you probably uh, do the foundation, especially if you're going to be doing border work. There's nothing worse when you come around to the bottom of your where your project started and there's only one loop. Your border will not uh, sit properly on the one loop. So this is a really good practice to get into is creating foundation chains for the bottom. Foundation chains are also thicker, you can see, so they make for good pull strings. Uh, shoelace ideas for crochet, all that jazz. So enjoy. This is a foundation stitch.